Hello and welcome to Old English Outfitters YouTube channel. I'm Alan and today we're going to do a quick review of the Taurus G2C 9mm pistol. Okay, so <clears throat> what we have here today is the Taurus G2C. It's a 9mm and it's the latest rendition of what originally started as their Millennium Series pistols. Uh, people have all different kinds of brand loyalties and we run into people all the time that love Taurus, like them, have a whole lot of them and have no trouble with them. You have other people that have various brand loyalties to other things and that's perfectly okay. But one of the things that's really kind of nice about this pistol is the price point. We sell these things here and we have them in stock for $219.99 plus tax, of course. That's not bad. For a budget pistol, it's not bad at all. Uh, for a budget pistol in that price range, it's got some pretty good features. It comes with two magazines and they're 12 rounders. Uh, in, a, in a frame size that's really about the size of a Smith & Wesson shield with a little higher capacity, the grip is, has got some texturing points on it. It really doesn't feel bad at all. The mags, like I said, they get two with the gun. They're 12 rounders. Uh, they got a little extension piece on the floor plate there. It gives you an anchor point for your small finger. The followers are yellow on both magazines, which makes them a little more visible. That's a nice touch. The gun itself, um, when you look at, the, at the, the texturing and how the grip is shaped, it actually feels pretty good. The subjective feels very good. I'm gonna, this one's empty and safe. I'm going to close the slide here for a minute. Up here, it has on, on either side, it has something that Taurus calls a memory pad, and it's just a little indent in the frame. It's kind of a nice spot, anchor spot, for your trigger finger. Regardless of which hand you're using it in, it gives you a nice spot to anchor your finger in, a tactile feel. That's a nice touch. Uh, magazine release is on only the left side of the pistol. It has a manual safety that's also only on the left side of the pistol. So it's really a right-handed gun. It's set up for, for right-handed use there. <clears throat> Slide release is just forward there, and then the, the takedown lever is right there, which is pretty much a direct copy from how Glock does theirs. Works essentially the same way. Uh, the pistol's got a short front end up here on the dust cover that's got a little rail piece there. So you could put one of the small lights or lasers that attaches to a rail will go right there. Um, not, not bad. Not bad for 219 bucks. Uh, the rear sight is adjustable for windage and elevation. It's got a couple screw pieces there. Uh, we shot this today. It seemed to be pretty well regulated at the distance we were shooting, which I suppose was, I don't know, maybe 30 feet. Uh, you've got a trigger safety piece in the center of the trigger that's, again, much like Glocks have. You've got an internal safety lock that, that connects to that, just like the Glock series does and, and other similar type guns. Uh, this gun has a loaded chamber indicator right there. That'll stand up just a little bit if you can see that. So when you got a round chambered, you'll see that. Now, if you couldn't see it, you could put your hand up there and feel it. If it was dark conditions or something like that. Uh, works pretty good. It's fairly effective. As you probably know, you never fully rely on such a thing like that, but it's a nice touch. And uh, again, for a $219 price point, not bad at all. Um, I shot a couple of these. We shot this one today. And uh, when we got out there, I noticed it didn't have any fresh lube on it, which sometimes uh, doesn't bode well, but this thing ate three magazines of ammunition with no trouble at all. So that's a, that's a good thing. <clears throat> um, takedown on these pistols is not too much different than a lot of things out there. Uh, easily accomplished uh, if you follow the same sort of protocols you would follow with Glocks or something like that, because you do have to pull the trigger. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is make sure it's empty and safe. Look, if you can't look, can't see in there, get your finger in there and feel. Make sure that the gun's completely empty and safe. And then, if you just close the slide and grab it, much like we've shown you before on how to disassemble a Glock pistol, pull the slide back just a little bit, 
and then put your thumb on one side and forefinger on the other side of the takedown lever. You can see that. Pull it down, hold it down, let the slide come forward a little bit. And then what you want to do is pull the trigger. That is what releases the slide and lets it come off. Polymer frame looks a whole lot like the inside of many other things. Recoil spring and guide captured so it doesn't launch. Barrel comes out and you got the same type of components that you have with lots of things out there today. Slide assembly, recoil spring and guide, barrel and frame. Simple, no small parts to lose. Putting it back together is just as simple and just like other things. You put the barrel and barrel back in the slide, recoil spring and guide back in, make sure it's centered, not off to one side. Make the slide rails back to the frame rails, slide it all the way back, and it reconnects. Function check. Everything works as it should, and we're back in business. Pretty simple. Uh, <laughs> for $219, it's not bad, folks. <clears throat> Shoots pretty good, handles pretty good. Something that's a little different about it, and we've had some folks in the shop before uh, purchasing things, and we try to point this out to. The trigger is a little different. The trigger has quite a bit of travel before it actually starts to feel like it's got a lot of pressure behind it. So when you so sometimes what happens is somebody will pull the trigger and they'll say, "Hey, what's going on? It's not shooting." Well, you got to come all the way back and keep coming, keep coming. Right there is where it breaks. Hopefully, you heard that click. Right there is where it breaks. So you've got some travel there. It's a striker fired trigger system, like a lot of things. So when you're pulling the trigger, you're finishing the tension on the striker and then you're finally releasing it. But you got to come all the way back to make sure that happens. So if you're pushing, if you're pulling at it and you're saying nothing's going on, keep coming all the way back. Stay on target. Don't get off target. So make sure your bullet goes safely. Uh, that's pretty much it. It comes in a simple cardboard box. Got a, got a fairly clear instruction manual with it. Uh, like we said before, two 12-round magazines uh, for $219. Um, we've got these in stock here at the shop, and we'll happily sell you as many as you want. Uh, pretty good little gun. Uh, I think that's it for right now. So uh, if you like this, let us know. We're on Twitter. We're on Facebook. Uh, post a response to this. If you have questions, call us or stop in and see us. We'll be happy to show you the gun and, and cover the, the operation with you again. Uh, for right now, until next time, I'm Alan for Old English YouTube channel. Thank you very much.